sorry about that whoever was watching the prior video I had to uh, I had to delete it for certain reasons but I will try my best to make this close to the same if not better as the prior video so my apologies anyways tier was Wednesday and I don't really remember if I even covered Tuesday but if I did not from from an always in perspective we had a double bottom from the high excuse me from this high which is basically the start of the August sell-off and, and as you can see still probably always in long made a double bottom possible low of the day usually happens about once every five days so 20 percent of the time first bar is the low of the day by bar seven usually a little over 50 percent at the lower high of the day is already in here we had a double bottom which is a you know high two by 50 50 chance low of the day maybe a little less but an okay swing by betting on the low of the day and measured move so I would not buy above that bar for me personally I like to I trade always in that is my primary go-to trading trading strategy and I will either first and I recommend everybody starting out to try this I personally just like it it keeps it it's simple for me so it, I don't want to change it. I'm going to keep doing it this way until I either get tired of it or see a reason not to. I either look for a stop entry, a decent stop entry such as something like this. To so number one, I only I will only trade the always in direction. Number two, I look for a stop entry. If I don't get a stop entry, I look for a breakout and follow through. So, I would buy this. I would definitely buy here. Breakout, follow through. We're going higher, at least to measure move. And it became a small pullback bull trend. I could see the bulls getting out at this close simply because you have three bars down. And if it's a channel, bulls really don't want to see three bars down. If it's a bear channel, bulls, bears really don't want to see three bars up consecutively. So, I could see if you didn't get out here, getting out at this close, but. Once you see this high two and you get a bull bar, another bull, I think you have to get long again. This never really put it always in short. It's a 50% pullback of this. I can see getting out here. You've had three pushes on the day. One, two, three, failed breakout, or one, two, and three. The best bars of the entire move. So probably exhaustion. How even though there's follow through, this was probably strong enough for at least a second leg, which we got. So there's no way I'm buying through this. I can only sell. And really, this is not enough to, you know, even though this is 10 bars and arguably two legs, it's not enough to pull off this move. So, hope that makes sense. The fourth, this is a pretty interesting, well, okay, so it's similar to today, the fit, the, um, uh, talking about. Excuse me, Thursday the 5th. Not a great signal bar. Arguably always in short based off the lower high major trend reversal. If you sell it, stop above here or here. If it's a good, if it's going to be a good trade, it should not go above here. However, I wouldn't do that. But I can see the reasoning. I can see someone doing it. Breakout follow through. So you've had a breakout follow through. Sell this close or this close, but stop above here or here. And if you do that, you're betting on a measure move down. A measure move of these bodies took you down to here, which was the the high of the August sell-off. The thing is, you have to ask yourself. Trading range through here. And you can't put a stop here or here. Simply because it's probably a trading range. This is climactic very climactic down 
the bulls who shorted below were expecting a swing and they got a very quick move. It's a gift. They're going to take profits. Bears, you know, they don't expect if that support. Bears want to sell higher. So when the stop goes up here and we're down here, bears don't want to risk from 98 to, they don't want to risk 10 points. So they're going to look to sell somewhere higher where they can risk less stop up here. That is why I say if you sell here, stop goes up here, here, because we may get a very deep pullback. However, the pullback was a breakout test, and then we sold off more. So same thing here. If you're selling here, at a minimum, I think you need to stop up here. Maybe here. You'd be selling at the bottom of the channel. So here, not really enough to make you always in short. So you sell somewhere in here, and I think you hold. If you did get out up here or here, I think you have to get short again below this bar. Not, an, I wouldn't get out here. It's a micro channel. First breakout will probably test down here. I can see the reasoning behind getting out. You can argue three pushes first, second, third, or a two-legged pullback, or just a two-legged move from here to here to here, somewhere down there. I know it's not perfect. Here's a second entry buy of this failed breakout, so reasonable buy. I can see bulls. I can see certainly always in bears getting out. I can see always in bulls buying. However, here there's something important. And I think you're going to... What do you notice right here? We have a high, lower high, lower high, and a possible lower high. So bulls, or excuse me, bears will sell, say this close, or they'll even sell this close. They'll sell somewhere in here, betting on make a new low before we get above here. And they're probably right. Have to remember, some traders will sell, stop up here, new low, stop up here, new low, stop up here. And look, you know, maybe they'll get out over here. Who knows? Point being, this could be a second leg trap. Two legs here, 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 here. Bears love to sell strong closes at the top of the trade, at the top of, in the upper portion of a trading range or a channel. So here, this was a good breakout. Possible double top. We may go for a measure move up. However, why is this the follow through? The bulls really needed another, you know, if this breakout bar would have been the size of this, you know, let's say it would have closed somewhere up here, that'd be a different story. Then we'd probably be always along, but why did we stall at the 60 minute, excuse me, the 15 minute moving average? So bulls who bought and are long, if they're betting it's a channel, they don't want to see three bear bars similar to this. So Bear bar, bear bar, bear bar. Notice this tail. Look at this close. This close was 9.25. This high was 9.50. That means bulls who bought this close were disappointed enough they were willing to get out break even. And as soon as it went one tick above to let them out, it sold off. So I think any always in trader who is long or any swing trader who is long needs to get out at the worst on the stop below this. Needs to get out either at the close or one tick below the 1130 bar. If they don't, I think they get out during this breakout. You can see just by the size of it, traders gave up. So we're probably going to go for a measured move, I think, at least the bodies, which we did. However, here, look at this. New low. Pulled back above here. New low. Probably going to pull back above here. So, you know, bulls are going to buy four points below, maybe three points below. If this low was 96, 97, they're going to buy around four points. They bought four points lower. They'll probably buy two to three points lower. You can see we vacuum straight down to the August high, the start of the sell-off back in August. But why did we not break strongly below? Why was this bar here, and why did the follow through bar pause exactly at the high, right at support? Why was the next bar a bull bar? Why was the next bar another bear bar? Why was the next bar 
So we had a mic we had a micro double bottom. Why is that? Well, we broke we tried to break below during here. We failed. Tried again on this bar and now we're failing for a second time. So it's a second entry buy. On a smaller time frame, it's clearly it's clearly a we tried to sell off, we pulled back and tried the market tried to reverse. We tried again, the bears tried again, and then the bulls tried again. Very often, same as this. We tried to break below here, we failed. We tried to break below again, we're failing. Generally in a trading range, if you get a second entry buy of a failed breakout below the low, it may succeed. We have targets up here. You have to question the bulls were strong here. Some bulls, instead of bailing out here, are going to just buy more somewhere down here to look for a soft entry. So let's look at that for a minute. Let's say I bought right here, or a trader did. And they added on, they bought up here. You know, lead somewhere up to there. So traders will do that. They will scale in. So I think we're gonna we're gonna get a deep pullback, possibly up to here. By here, I think we're always in long. So if you did not buy above here, I think here's a and you're looking to trade always in. I think you buy above here to break out pullback, or you buy the breakout here, buy a stop up here, buy something. Here if we push this first, second, third. However, kind of difficult because it never really went always in short here. And then we test it up. And this bar tells you that we never went always in short. Bulls bought aggressively back up to here. So for always in, I think you sell this close or this close, maybe this close. I'd really rather wait for a breakout, which was here and follow through. So sell this close or this close. Stop up here. Really not enough to make you go always in long, so I think you hold. If you got out, I think you sell below this bar. You can see the bulls needed one more bar here, and that's why we dramatically sold off. Usually, when the the bears want to sell, when the bulls are at their strongest. So if you think about it, if the bulls need one more bar here or here, the bears are going to aggressively sell, letting they won't get it. They got one one more bar here, but the size is very small, very weak. So I think they stay short. Second entry field break up below here. Call a double bottom. A lot of buy, a lot of buying pressure. I think bull. I think bear step aside and wait. Bulls arguably go long here, here. But I think they have to get out below this bar or close up here or break even here. I think we're always in short by this close. Stop up here, here. Second entry field break up below below. I think we're always in long, so you buy. Not really enough reason to get out, so it's real tricky. And, and that's really it. We're always in long for the rest of the day. Today, well, I think we were always in long for sure on this bar, so I think we, we came into the day always in long. However, not really good breakout, no follow through. Here, the Bulls really needed one more, one more bar for buy the closes. So they didn't get it. Here, I think any trader that's long gets out below this bar. Always in bears to go short, betting on a swing, and possibly a measured move down from here to here, maybe down to here. So short below here, probably always in the short. Other traders will wait for a breakout and follow through. They'll short here, stop up, short here, stop up. We ended up going for a measured move based upon the bodies. This open and this close, check down here. So, kind of on a side note, one interesting thing to think about. Well, I'll give you a couple. So, the question, obviously, kind of rhetorical. Why? Why do we stall up here? A couple reasons. If you think about it, then this is kind of my theory, and this is kind of what I think. It's interesting. We had a decent bar here. We're probably, I think we'll test back to it. There's probably, there was buyers below this low, so 
for their quality buyer to close this low. If you set a limit order to buy the exact low of one of these bars, and you use a wide stop somewhere down here, and you said, okay, I'm going to hold until I see price turn up. And if, it, if we get a breakout below and a decent follow through bar, maybe another follow through bar, so one more bear bar after this consecutive, I'll get out. So price turns up. And at this point, you say, okay, my stop goes one, my actual risk is one tick below here, my entry was here. I'll go for two times that. Well, look where two times takes you, right to the top. And the reason I point that out is, look right here, one times takes you right to that top. So I point that out is, it, it's all math. Traders will buy this low, and they'll use the wide stop, and they'll go for twice the risk, because that's the minimum they need. So remember that, and take that into context of, same thing with here. If they'll sell this high, look what happens. Find buyers in this area. Now, no, there's, there's a hundred different reasons. Other reasons as to why we buy those pools. They'll hold the lat on lower and get out break even. Top of the channel, and you, you eventually expect price to test higher and higher, closer to these lower highs. So we expect price now during this to test closer than it did when price was testing this high during here. So there's all sorts of reasons. So anyway, think, be thinking about that. Here from the high to the open, we test it down. Now, if you think this is a trading range, which I think it is a trading range, it's obviously a bear trend right here, but I think the whole picture is a trading range. And here's why. A lot of trading range price action. We have a very important magnet, the August high started the sell off here we had a we have a lower high lower high lower high lower high we broke above the lower high here so we're probably either in a trading range or bull trend we failed we're breaking strongly below much stronger than we did here 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 probably exhaustion second we came we did it very very climatically very climactic Third, well, so anyways, my point is, this might be a trading range. We formed a range here. If we turn down, which we did here, we may go for a measure move based upon here to the open, or maybe this low, which takes you down to here. We also may get a measure move from the open to this close. Why is that? This right here, from here to here. Bears who sold here, they'll use a stop up here. The minimum they require is and this is from the body of the spike that's the minimum they require so they know there's a 60 percent chance or higher that we'll go from this open to this close we'll get an exact measurement down so bulls swing bulls are going to look to buy somewhere around that measure move somewhere around this measure move so here's what i'm getting at if you're a bull and you step aside here you say okay here's the high Here's the low. We may get a measure move down from to here. We also can get a measure move from this open to this close down here. So I'm going to, let's just say, I'm going to buy right here and use a measured move. So I'm going to buy here and target this because this was the start of the measured move. And it'll make more sense than that. And I'll use a measured move and equal distance move. So in other words, couple ways you can do this. Buy here, risk to here. The distance from this pink line to this red line is the same distance from here to here. It's an equal distance move. And I'll buy more 50% lower. So let me make that more simple. If I was to say, okay, here's a spike. We're probably going to test an equal distance move. This open and this close. Okay, here's the low. If I bought on a limit somewhere down here, what are the odds that price will go here before it pulls back to the here? Or maybe even the open of the day. So you're basically betting that, sorry about that, that's papers in my hand. 
You're betting that price will. Okay. It's kind of like this right here. Open to the close. What are the odds that price will. If I buy somewhere in here, buy the close of this bar, let's say. What are the odds price will go up here before it goes here? I think it's at least 60%, especially on this day. You've had three pushes down. So if I buy here, set a target here, I'm probably going to make money. And look what happened. We found sellers in that area. Obviously, we went a little higher because of here. But look over here. You're thinking, eh, trading range day. We'll probably get above here. I'm going to buy here. Use a stop down here. Go for here. And it worked. And we ended up going higher. So take a different approach. You know, the market's full of equal distant moves. It is 100% math. There's, there's just no other explanation for it. Here's the open. Let's say you think, ah, this is all trading range behavior. I'm going to buy 10 points below the open. So the open was 97.50. I'm going to buy 90. Excuse me. Open was 97.50. I'll buy 80 at 87.50. Somewhere in here. So you're going to buy somewhere around here. And I'm going to use a stop at 77.50. So in other words, by here, I'm going to buy 10 points below the open somewhere in here. Risk 10 points below the open. Betting price goes back to the open. Well, let's say you take that trade. Here you're kind of questioning if that will happen. However, you know it's not so easy on a day like today, but I guarantee you traders did that. And look, we came back to the open. It's all about equidistant moves. So, anyways, uh, let me get back to what I was actually talking about. I think sellers through this, however, really not an easy place to move your stop. Maybe above here. But it's all one large move down. So the risk is getting huge. Therefore, traders need to take profits. Therefore, traders need to lessen the risk. And they do that by taking profits. So we may pull back very deeply. Here, probably not enough for traders always and short traders to get out. Here, we have a breakout pullback buy. Second entry field breakout below yesterday's low. Similar to here and here. I think traders get out. By here. I think we're always in long here. So... It, there's a low too, however, it's always a long. The only thing I'd personally be looking to do is buy. And sorry about that, I just kind of abstract. Yeah, the only thing I personally do is buy. And actually, I did make a mistake. I did short below that and I actually ended up getting out somewhere right here. But uh, that's just kind of besides the point. However, Trading range, decent signal bar, and I meant to make a note of this. We may test back to the slow, which we did over here. So we're always in long. Traders really, a lot of always in traders will wait until there's three consecutive bear bars or clear top. So no reason to get out. You're still long. You maybe buy here, here. Maybe buy above this bar here. Wide stop. Stop below here, here. Breakout stop below here. New high, maybe stop below here. Better below here. Three pushes up, reasonable for bulls to get out. Once we had three bars down, I think it's becoming always in short. You can sell the close, sell below the bar, stop up here. And by the way, if you sell here, I think it's better to use a stop a couple points above because we can easily test a little higher. You have a wedge first, one, two, three. So we may get a fourth push up. One of those, when you get a wedge, 50 50 chance. The market reverses. So, anyways, three bars down, we'll probably get at least two legs down, maybe test all the way down to here. Bulls, think about it. Some bears. Look right here. Now, why is this? Well, why did this signal bar form right there? Well, I'm willing to. My One of my theories would be. Traders who sold here knew that they probably
probably would. Sorry about that. Traders who sold here knew there might be the pullback, and they knew the stock could appear still sell up here. Fifty percent is roughly here, so it's an equal just to move. You sell here, betting price goes to here before it stops you out. Probably a sixty percent chance. And we found a lot of buyers there who either sold here, stop up here, and added on, or simply just added, just sold here, betting price would test back to this target. So, all in all, I think it's always in short here. I think it's reasonable to get out. If you don't, I think you get out on this close. For sure, this one, I think it's always in long here. This this was a surprise to make it a second leg up. May test back to the open of the day and try to close in the middle. Or just creating a doji. And so to wrap it up, always in long, not strongly. Really, you haven't had a strong breakout with follow through except for here and here. This one really a strong breakout is just breakout and follow through. So short below here for always in long. Excuse me, always in the short or sell this close, this close, stop up here. Stops getting big. I can see the reason for taking profits here and looking to sell low to the moving average or pullback. Here, I think bears get out, bulls go long, or they go long somewhere in here or here. Still always in long, probably always in the short by this close. I can see bears shorting, aggressive bears shorting below. Form of two legged pullback, but still stop up here, always in the short. Here, always in long, bears at least need to get out. Either wait for tomorrow, some bulls will buy aggressively.